Protesters in Fremont are calling for rail companies and government leaders to take action before another derailment like the one in East Palestine. They say any town could be next. Kaylee Kirby is live tonight. Kaylee, what do they want to see happen? Yeah, Melissa, these protesters want to see stricter rail laws and accountability. They understand how important these rail industries are in our state and right here in our community, but they also believe these rail companies can do better. Two train derailments in the last month have protesters demanding for change. These kinds of accidents are happening more frequently right now, and yeah, it could be us. They're uh becoming more and more prevalent and more of a safety factor, uh, safety hazard for everybody. They say their town could be vulnerable if Congress and other top leaders don't make changes to the rail industry. Without it, they say communities are in danger. What's the difference between that town and this town? We got, we got uh, trains going through here with tankers all the time. And uh, just happened to be, un for those people, unlucky enough that happened there, what happens here? Organizers say they want tougher laws and regulations, updated braking systems, and better regulation of hazardous materials. In East Palestine, those first responders didn't know what was burning up in those cars. They didn't know it was vinyl chloride. They didn't know it for hours. There's lots of steps that can be taken to make our communities safer. And they're taking those grievances to the tracks in hopes that their protests put pressure on companies like Norfolk Southern. Injustice to one is injustice to all of us, you know, and, and they, they need to make it right. They also want Norfolk Southern to take responsibility and to better help the people impacted by these accidents. They are using our common ground here. They're coming through our communities. They owe this to us. They must put our safety over profits. And happening tomorrow, a committee is set to meet in Washington, D.C. to discuss the train derailment that happened in East Palestine. The topic of discussion will be on the environmental and public health threats that happened with the chemical release over there. Reporting live tonight, Kaylee Kirby, WTOL 11.